Yes, guys. So, next topic. Topic number two is um, about the Uncharted box office. And uh, it's looking to swing to 30 million plus um, in the opening weekend, which is this weekend in the North American market. Because right. they never take our market. It's always the North American market when they say domestic or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's just take it as that okay. anyway. So, anyway, um, this comes to us via Variety. Mm hmm and it says, these days, Tom Holland is never too far from the top of the box office charts. Uh, the Spider-Man No Way Home actor is returning to theatres this weekend as a different kind of vigilante in Sony's Uncharted, an action adventure based on the popular video game. The film is expected to make 27 million between Friday and Sunday and 30 million dollars uh, through President's Day on Monday. Some box office prognosis uh, I think that's right. Anyway, believe Uncharted could reach 35 million in its first four days in the theater. Uh, those receipts will be enough to easily glide to the number one spot over the last over last week's champion, Death on the Nile. <laughs> uh, Uncharted cost 120 million dollars to produce. Oh, that's why I was gonna get into. We'll get into oh. that. So it will need to sell tickets and lots of them to turn a profit for the studio. Reviews have been mixed at best, so Holland's charisma will be key at filling seats in otherwise uh, spottily attended cinemas. As the dashing treasure hunter Nathan Drake, Holland is attempting to test his big screen appeal out of his alter ego as Peter Parker, AKA Spider-Man. Earlier this week, Spider-Man No Way Home officially unseated director James Cameron's 2009 science fiction epic Avatar to become the third highest grossing domestic, that's US, um, North American box office uh, release in history. Can he sell tickets when he's not done in his signature Spidey suit? Um, ahead of its domestic debut, Uncharted opened at the international box office, because we've already seen it hit, well, I have already, uh, to a solid $21.5 million from 15 overseas markets. Along with the US and Canada, the film opens this week in Australia, Brazil, uh, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Mexico, and South Korea. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's, it, we all know it's directed by Ruben Fleischer, <laughs> who directed the first Venom. Um, but yeah, so... Boy. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to say, uh, ask you, Leon. So you hear it's it's projected to about 30, 35 million in the North American box office. It's earned 21.5 million already in the overseas box office with more to come because of all those countries that I'm, I've mentioned it's going to mm -hmm. open in this weekend. But with a, with a production budget of 120 million. I think that's too much. I think that's too much. Uh, first of all, um, I'm not going to pretend. Yeah, I love Tom Holland. Mm. That's what he does. Mm. But, but if you had on the Spider Man suit, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I can make a little money, yeah. <laughs> right. So, um, but, but what I'm saying is, if you're going into something, mm. you know, so. Let's say tomorrow you get Luke Cage. Mm. You're Luke Cage. People mm. love you in Luke Cage. Mm. That doesn't mean yeah, yeah. you can transfer to, do you know what I mean? Like, Nowadays, cry freedom. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. Do, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't mean yeah. you can deliver other places. All right, like I said, it's still adventure and action, and he's used to that. Mm. But I don't hear people talking about Uncharted at all. <sighs> now... It's gonna so, it's gonna do well, yeah. But I'm saying your average person, I I go on like Joe Blogs, yeah, down the road in Iceland, yeah. It's right. not saying you know what, can't wait to see Uncharted. Well, However, everyone was ready to see Spider Man. That okay, compared everyone's to Spider, ready to yeah. see Batman compared to compared to Uncharted. Yeah, I'll give you that. That's what I'm. That's all I'm saying. But, I well, believe it will do sorry, well. Sorry, yeah. sorry, let me, let me let yeah, you go finish, on. man. No, no, I believe it will do well. Yeah, but it, but I think the budget was. They spent too much to start yeah, with. Yeah. I don't think they needed to spend that. No. Well, they obviously did because they were trying to make it all I, I, singing, all dancing. But I, I think they should have hedged their bet a little bit. I agree with you. Just, I, 
just I, be a bit see, Remember, I've seen the film. I, I gave my, okay, uh, yeah, my yeah, cinema yeah, review. Yeah, yeah. I like the film. Yeah. But it, the, 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 and, and it goes to your point about people knowing about this film. The problem with this film that I seem to find mm. with game... Because this, this this film is going to be very popular with gamers. Or was supposed to be very popular with gamers. Yes. And we've both watched the John Campion show all the time. They're very aware of the Uncharted game. Yeah. Most of them are not even happy and they haven't seen the movie about... Um, I have actually haven't seen his out of theatre, because they've seen it now. I haven't seen his out of theatre um, Oh, review. review, okay. But before they saw it, a lot of them, especially like Chris Carr, they weren't happy because apparently Nathan Drake, which is uh, Tom Holland's um, character, is supposed to be the, a lot older. Yeah, it's, they said it was supposed to be Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, originally. Yeah, well, originally. Fact, originally, that's what he was cast at. Yeah. And I think what the studios thought was, we want to make a franchise out of this. And so we need the um, the lead actor to be a bit younger. So, because apparently both characters are supposed to be older than what they are. So even even Sully, oh, okay. which is Mark Wahlberg's character, is supposed to be a lot older than what he is. Right. Because they say that Nathan Drake is an Indiana Jones type guy. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? So then obviously he would need to be older than what Tom Dollar is. Just a bit more seasoned. Right. Right. So I think a lot of game a lot of gamers who are into the Uncharted game, they're not gonna be able to let that go. As I can see now. Yeah. I I, I I've seen the film. I want to take Leon to go and watch it soon mm. as well. Mm-hmm. Um It's that Jack Reacher thing. Yeah. It's yeah. like how people are like, yeah. well, that's not Jack Reacher. Because because as you I haven't watched it, but as you've watched it and as I've seen, bro, it's very it popular. It makes all the difference, right, you know. Right, right. You know, like him being so big and imposing, mm, mm, like mm. fitting the character. Yeah. Because remember, that's how the character was written. Right. It was right. it was written right. coming from that perspective. Right. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. if Indiana Jones was 19, mm. would it have worked? Of course it wouldn't. Because yeah, it was yeah. Built for a middle-aged yeah. white man. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. built for an uh, Asian man, an Indian man, a black man. Mm. It was built for mm. what it was built for. Yeah. And when yeah. you come away from that, it's like the comic books when they change it too much. People mm. ain't happy. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm, I'll be one of them. I'll yeah. be one of them. Like but you come away from it, you're like... I mean, when you change it and, and it makes sense that you change it, like, for instance, they changed um, Thanos' motivation for the snack. Yeah. In the comics, it was an idiot one. He he was in love with Lady Death. We, we, yeah, that right. wouldn't have worked on screen. No, it's just not, it's not enough motivation. Right. But, but when they changed it, it yeah. was like, okay, people are going to, and people resonated with it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I get it. Um, mm-hmm. Again, I'm not a gamer. I don't know anything about the game. Neither do I. So, I went into it unbiased. Yeah, just as a... As a, a cinema fan, right? Let's see right. adventure, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Remember, okay. you saw my yeah. theater review. It's I my type of I've film. Heard. I know, I, I, I know, I will like. I it. know you will like. Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, it's and, my I, type and of I, film. I think. I, I even think John Campion is going to like. I'm going to watch his out of theater review after, mm-hmm. but I'm quite sure he's going to like it. After, yeah, uh, you know what I mean. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, I, I, so this is the problem that I have with it making money. I think it's going to make money, mm. as we can see already, but. With the gamers, it, and that, and I know they're trying to entice a lot of them to come and watch the film. Mm-hmm. I don't think that they're going to be happy with the final product right. um, for the reasons that we just spoke of. Mm-hmm. So, and then on top of that, as you said, I I do not. Don't get me wrong; it's a it's a little bit of an epic film. Yes. Nice, nice, yeah. nice set pieces and whatnot. But 120 mil, really? You see, this is the kind of films that has ruined well, cinema. You saw it. It, it, could it have been done? It could have been done you, a lot cheaper. Because you know a, a lot about box office yeah. numbers and what it takes to do yeah. that, the CGI yeah. and yeah. this and that. It could have been... I mean, listen, I always quote the same film that I did with you before. Mm. The Invisible Man, you've seen that. Yeah. Brilliant yeah. film. Mm. was. And look at the, the CGI in that. That was made for seven million. So what does this film... Why is it costing 120? Yeah. Why? Why? I, Probably there 50, was no fifty of that. Tom Holland's. There was two big. <laughs> there, I mean, okay, if you include include Tom Holland, there were three big stars in there. Yeah. There was Tom Holland. There was Mark Wahlberg, and there was Antonio Banderas. Yeah. Right? Are you? I. I mean, yes. There's. Are three, they half the budget? Do you think? If they're really half the budget, they're taking a piss. Yeah. They take because even if you say, okay, I'm going to pay you free ten mil. Mm. That's not half the budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if, if they, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. So I, I mm-hmm. can't see them being half the budget. So really, what did that 120 mil go on? And remember, that's just production. So 
normally the marketing will be the same as that. But from what I've seen of Uncharted, it hasn't had a huge marketing campaign. No. Because it's been um it's been put back a lot because yeah. of COVID. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. So it hasn't had a huge so let's say marketing costs 60 mil. Mm. That's still 100, 180 mil mm. that you're gonna have to make to, to break even. To break even before you've made money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Do you yeah. see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. <sighs> And then you've probably sent them all around the world to promote it and this and that. So these are it, all costs. I, it all costs, man. These I, are all I, costs. It's, it's, listen, it's, Ooh, this, ain't, hey. this ain't no Spider-Man either. So. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. So I, I, I completely agree with you. I, I, this will make money, no doubt about it. Is it going to make enough to turn a profit mm. and to justify a sequel? Because if you see the... Obviously, they've already said they want to create a franchise with it. And if you see the ending... You know that that's exactly what they went okay. for in okay. the ending all and right. the post credit scene right. and all of that. I just kept it. Yeah. Right. So I personally will be interested to see another one, but is it going to make the money to justify it? Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Would, mm. you, would you? Well, there's one thing I'm thinking, and it's just come now. Uh, when you've been Spider Man, mm. so you can't, you're never going to pull numbers like that. I just don't think. So you think Toby Maguire, mm. what's he done since? Yeah, nothing. Yeah, Andrew Garfield. Yeah, right. They've done bits. They, they, they've done. Yeah, but, but they're not going to pull the same box office. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, yeah. And, I, I, see and, your point. And, I see your point. So th- this is this is my thing. Hmm. Like he's no Hugh Jackman. Hmm. Like hmm. Hugh Jackman was Wolverine. Yes, hmm. and he can be this guy, and he can be the shopkeeper, and hmm. people want to go. He's hmm. he, he'll pull people wherever yeah. he goes. Yeah. I don't think Tom Holland's got that just yet. I think just he's yet. a bit too young. Well, I don't even... He, here's the thing with that. You, you talk about J- Hugh Jackman. Apart from The Greatest Showman, maybe that pulled the same amount okay, of money. Yeah. What, else what was that robot do? thing he done? Oh, the real steel. Yeah. The boxing I one. Like I, I quite like that. <laughs> but I don't remember that making big box No, office. I don't think it did. You I think I mean? that's like a... Even, even that though was a guilty pleasure, that, really. Yeah, yeah. Even though they were talking about doing a sequel to that. Mm. Um, yeah. I... I so, well, they, well, there so, you go. So, but that but, says it all. But that's what You're I'm saying, though. Right. But that's what I'm saying, though. He has not even done pulled the numbers that X Men pulled. No, you see no, what I'm saying? no, no. You're right. So it, it goes down. It, it because, because that's the peak. Right. That's the right. peak of theater. Let's yeah. let's get it straight. That's yeah. the peak of film. If you're Superman, Batman, Spider Man, Iron film. Man, like you know, Iron Man. What's his name? Uh, to, um, Robert Downey Jr. He can't go anywhere and and do that. He's the, the same. He's the he's same effect. Done out here. Every, he went to do Doolittle. That bombed in a in a in a in a cinema. The Judge, which we, I think that was released on Netflix. That's actually a good film. Yeah. Didn't do didn't do nothing. But this is what I'm saying. It, it, you just you, it can be the beginning of the end. You know? It can it can be it can, it can be, be the beginning of the it end. It can be it can um, be. I mean, it's it goes to your point when you said that anyone can don that Spider Man suit. And still, it would have made that it kind of money. It would have money, yeah, of it, course. Maybe not that money, but it would have made big money regardless. Because everyone would have won. Everyone would have patted you on the back. Everyone would have said, good job. Yeah. And, right. and, and it, it, again, it, it shows you with... If you look at all... The, so you, t- you just mentioned Robert Downey Jr. Hasn't done anything big box office since. Chris Evans, I would argue the same. Even though he's done really good films like Knives Out. Yeah. Or, uh, afterwards. He hasn't made that kind of box office. Um, and that's an all-star cast. Right. Knives out. Exactly. And they've exactly. all had box office smashers mm-hmm, when mm-hmm. you've got J- the Jamie Lee Curtis is right, in there. Right. And they've done. Right. There's just something about having that, again, I've always said it, when you have that Marvel logo, mm. and that's even if you're on a Sony film, if you have that Marvel logo mm. in the beginning of your film, it's going to make X amount of money. Regardless. From time you see the pages <laughs> flicking. Yeah. Yeah? And you see that red logo. Yeah. And you Marvel. see yeah, you see the pages <laughs> flicking and you hear the music, that's it. Money. Yeah. Money. That alone, <laughs> that alone covers whatever it took to make. Yeah. That alone. Yeah. Just having Marvel right. when the page is flicking. Yeah. Done out here. Yeah. Done out here. So yeah, because yeah, now I'm just trying to think who actually um has life after superhero. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I mean, Chris Pratt. Again, was was he done? Okay, no, tell a lie. He did Jurassic, and that did that did very it close did. numbers. Yeah, to Guardians. The, the the thing with Jurassic is 
That is a very known IP. That is a franchise right. that I started on when I right. was 12 years old. Right. And that's built. So I could have put so, you in that. Right. <laughs> once again. Right. <laughs> once again. Do you know what I mean? These are not no nothing happening films yeah. where yeah. these big Marvel heroes are in it and everyone ah oh, just because they're in it. So yeah. like you said, it can be the beginning of the end. Yeah, yeah. But let me tell you something. I would be happy for that to be the beginning of my end. <laughs> yeah? More and then, than happy. And let me let me just clarify something. We are massive fans of Tom Holland. This is no disparage. No. no. This is not a disparage on his acting. I think he's a class actor. I think he him, him going forward, he's gonna be one of the premier actors yeah, for, in Hollywood. For years to come. No doubt about yeah. that. He is a phenomenal actor. Mm -hmm. I just feel like too much is being banked on, on him being a box office star right now. Mm -hmm. And as we can see from all the other Marvel guys, no, it, it's even the biggest one, Robert Downey Jr. It's not happening. Nobody's managed to do it. No That's one's what done I'm thinking. It. No one's done because Marvel is an entity of its own. Yeah, it's and not. You it's not theater. You can't. You I mean, can't. Yeah, you know what I mean, you can't take it. You can't say this person's made x amount of money with marvel and made their box office so 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 they're going to do the same or similar with this film no it, yeah. it, it, it's it it's a it and i know it's it's crazy to think it mm. but that's just the way it is that's just the way it, it, is. Is, the way it is do you know what i mean yeah i mean he will always do well mm. he will always mm. get profits mm. i'm just saying once you've been at that height it's just like that that's your peak yeah yeah being yeah. that being a superhero is yeah. the pinnacle of any actor playing a superhero's career yeah yeah you yeah, will yeah. get challenging roles you will do things that will move mm -hmm, you and move mm -hmm. people but what i'm saying is in terms of box office box office smashers yeah marvel is it it's, or it's dc marvel. and even DC because robert don't, Pattinson, don't come, dc doesn't even come close to marvel but no, you're right but, but you're right yeah dc is the yeah. only other alternative yeah. because the other <laughs> um yeah, it's the only other big comic book franchise I think, that's, that's around. And I think the difference even with DC is, you see like Robert Patterson, mm. Christian Bell, mm. their body of work mm. before playing them. Yeah, yeah, has yeah, been solid. Has been solid. Now, yeah. uh, Patterson just doing Twilight alone. Mm. Yeah? Mm. And he sold that. Mm. Mm. He he made Twilight as good as it was. I I I, yeah? I think so. Yeah, Twilight so. Twilight was a good story for for I I I am not the a fan. Females. I'm no, not a fan of the no, Twilight. No, neither am I. But I will acknowledge that Robert Pattinson and we 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 will give him shit about it. But listen, mm. he's he was good in it, and yeah. he's, he is a phenomenal actor right. as well. Right, you know, and and then we know Christian Bale's body of work. Oh, yeah, from yeah, that was yeah, it yeah. Empire of the Sun when he was yeah, a child. Was Remember a child, that man. brilliant yeah, film yeah, Empire of the Sun. Yeah. But what I'm saying is. They've worked their way up, mm. and then you've got people that have come straight. Mm. Not straight, but you know but what I'm who, saying. Who would you say have come straight in? Who? What from Hollywood? Yeah. What was Tom in before? Tom Tom's been in bits. See, this no, is this Hollywood is though. You, that, well, you can't really separate. When it. I say when when I mean, all right, all right. Because I, I would I know what you're trying to. I, say. No, so, no, no, no. So for me, for me, <laughs> yeah, the, an exact and even though I rate him as an actor. The person that you're, you're you're describing perfectly is John Boyega. Yes, and we know we yeah. know that's a fact. Yes, right? yes, came we, from right, because, right down there. Because John Tom, Tom Holland has done like, for instance, do you remember the? I, I know I'm. Do you, remember, not. do you remember the King Kong film? I didn't watch it. Oh, what we've um, no, oh, was that Tom Holland actually? No, the no, that was Jamie Bell. I keep getting them. Do you know why I keep getting them confused? Because Tom Holland also did Billy Elliot the musical, right? But this, but this is this is my point. Mm. He's done bits. No, but but that's what I'm saying. I know he's done bits. Mm. You've done bits. Mm. So mm. if you get it, you deserve yeah, yeah, to get. It. But what yeah. I'm saying is, there's there's been people that have been up here, yeah, and then they've just taken right, a right. That's I see, what I mean. I see, I see so what you're Patterson. Saying. I see what you're saying. Is an established, gone, established, star. right, 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 right. Brilliant actor, yeah. like that. That. But when here's you think a, of Twilight, you think of Patterson. But here's here's a, here's what stuff I'm going to ask you, right. and, and and it might prove what we we're just both saying. Mm. After Batman, mm. do you? Because we all say Patterson is a phenomenal actor, as rightly so he is. But again, after Twilight, which was a big box office smash, what other box office smashes did he have? No, none. And he's no, been in phenomenal no, films. No. But the reason I'm rating it is because he was part of something that was built. Twilight 
where did that yeah, come from? Yeah, because it was books, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it was young, books. Young adult books, So, yeah. so he, this, get, but, he but gets again, a blight. But no, but that's my he point. He got lucky, yeah. No, but that's my point. Yeah. You're, you're proving the point that we just made. Yeah. Yeah. That unless it's an established IP, mm. you can't make big box office. Just because you did it in an established IP film mm. doesn't mean you can go out and do it in, in a non-established Bring IP. Bring Twilight out today mm. with any actor. And it will make money. And money. it will break even in the first week. Yeah. And then you'll have a pro We don't yeah. I'm not yeah. gonna say it's gonna make billions, yeah. but just the name will, Twilight, yeah. yeah, it's gone. Spider-Man, gone. Yeah. Batman, gone. Yeah. Avengers it, gone. No matter who's in there, Guardians of the Galaxy, they could change my man tomorrow yeah. and say yeah. he got killed. Mm -hmm. Like gone. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. But rubber, he, he, yeah, he's there and he's mm. there. I mean he's done he's done a couple bits. I know he's done some like he's done a lot of body work, but mm. nothing to the scale of Twilight. No, well, yeah, box office wise. But Christian Bale, box on the wise. other hand. But again, box office wise, no, yeah. no. You're right. You're saying. right. You're right. Think about the Terminator. Book. Right, that didn't do, do great. No, it wasn't. Do you know what it I mean? Didn't, it didn't, really, didn't did do it. great. Yeah. Um, in fact, it got critically panned. Even though I, I quite liked it, I didn't mind it. Either. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But again, he hasn't done after Batman anything big box. He's done. I mean, he did the um. The American something with Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, yeah. What was that called again? I forgot. But that was a really good film. Yeah. But that's not big. Yeah. That didn't make big box office. No. So this is... I think we, yeah, we've yeah, yeah, not right. entered the era yeah. where unless you're doing an established uh, IP, mm. you're, you're, you're doing a film that has an established IP in it, you can't really think about making big box office. I think that's just... It's, that's just the name of the game. Man. Yeah. I mean... It goes, it, and another, although he's a fantastic actor, another example would be Joaquin Phoenix. Yes. You did a Joker film, 50 mil the budget was, ended up making over a billion. And Gladiator. But was that an established IP? No. Just, but again, that, did that make big box office? I think I it did. I don't think it no. did. No. I don't think it I did. I mean, over time, maybe. I, I would have to check that one oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. anyway. But yeah, but anyway. So, <laughs> my point is, is there life for after Marvel? Well, we're going to find out, innit? We're going to find is out. Is there so life after Marvel? I Marvel think that's going to be the title of this. You, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll put it in there. Is there but, life but, after Marvel? But, yeah, it, it, you know, is... Um, did, did, did they bank on Tom Holland too much uh, to make money from I this film? So. Leave us some comments down below and let us know what you think.